So this question is a translate word problem question. It's greater than four lines long. So we want to read it and make sure to write down any quantitative information that we read. So the question says an online bookstore sells novels and magazines. Okay, got that. Each novel sells for $4. Okay, so $4 is the cost for novels. And each magazine sells for $1. So $1 is the cost for magazines. If Sadie purchased a total of 11 novels and magazines, okay, so that means that N plus M, right, novels and mag plus magazines equals 11, that have a combined selling price of $20, okay, well, each novel was $4, so I'm going to say 4 times N, right, so this is the number of of units, let's call it, and whereas this is the price, right? So four times the number of novels plus one times the number of magazines, so no need to put the one in front, we should get $20, okay? How many novels did she purchase? Well, in essence, what this question has just provided for us is a system of equations. Whenever we have a system of equations, which shows up quite frequently on the SAT, we have two options. We want to either solve by elimination or by substitution. So hopefully those terms sound familiar to you. So I'm going to choose to use, and let me just get rid of this stuff over here. I'm going to choose to use elimination here. The reason for that is I see that I have m here and m there, which means if I subtract the bottom equation from the top one, right, that would make that negative, that makes that negative, I could then eliminate the m value there, and I'd have n minus 4n, which is negative 3n, and 11 minus 20, which is negative 9. Of course, simplify this by dividing both sides by negative 3, and what I'm left with is that n equals three, which means there are three novels. And since the question is asking how many novels she purchased, that is the final answer.